Every two years, 15 to 20,000 scientists, researchers, activists, politicians, government officials, people from civil society gather at an international AIDS conference to discuss the progress or lack of it relating to the pandemic itself. Two years ago, it was in Durban, South Africa. This year, a week or so from now, it's in Amsterdam. And I wanted, if I may, to use this commentary to give you a sense, a glimpse of what uh, the AIDS Free World contingent will provide at the conference itself, along with all the other activities which we are engaged in. First of all, and perhaps most important, we have produced a short documentary film, 35 minutes in length, on tuberculosis. Uh, tuberculosis has its own pre-conference session prior to the major international AIDS conference, but it will also be interwoven with the AIDS conference itself, given the relationship between TB and HIV. Now, what we've done is to focus on those strains of tuberculosis, which are resistant to the current drug regimens. Uh, aptly enough, it's called multi-drug resistant tuberculosis, or MDR-TB in the vernacular. And we actually did fact-finding missions to the two jurisdictions where tuberculosis is most deeply embedded, India and South Africa. And we looked at the comparison and contrast between the two jurisdictions and produced this short documentary film, which will undoubtedly uh, render a great deal of controversy. I can imagine a cacophony of uh, noisy disputation, but after all, AIDS Free World isn't the kind of outfit that ever feels it necessary to bow to the establishment. And if any of you who are watching this commentary are going to be at the AIDS conference itself, then let me say that the first public screening of our documentary film will be at the Crown Plaza Hotel, a nice short walk from the conference center, between 6 and 7.30 on uh, the night of Wednesday, July 25th, and you are more than welcome to attend. The second item which is, I think, equally interesting, is our legal consultation center in the Global Village. The Global Village is that vast cavernous emporium adjacent to the conference itself where the NGO community shows off its wares. And the legal consultation center, using lawyers who are attending the conference, provides consultative advice to any delegate who's HIV positive or otherwise uh, involved with HIV, who feels themselves to have been discriminated against or exploited by virtue of their status. It can be related to the workplace, to education, to the criminal justice system. Any delegate or community member who wants to have a free pro bono consultation with a lawyer, not to provide explicit legal direction or service, but to get a sense of whether or not there might be legal recourse provided. It has become an immensely popular activity because, of course, any legal consultation normally costs a great deal of money, and this is pro bono. So again, we encourage anyone or everyone to attend. Hundreds of delegates make use of the Legal Consultation Center. It's, the whole conference is a kind of bubble within which there is this intense discussion, and the bubble is excellent because it is an antidote to the mercurial maniacal, serial uh, absurdity of the President of the United States of America. And it's next week. I'm Stephen Lewis.